Tell it. Okay, so tell us what happened. Um, Jeffrey, I was I forgot initially about our appointment today, and I had forgotten two weeks ago, and um, the appointment passed, and I made a new appointment. But today he came home from school. He ate lunch. He was perfectly fine. Got up, did what he was doing. Then he. Um, I went in the kitchen to wash dishes, and he says to me, shoes, shoes, shoes. Well, a girl named Lauren takes him out on Wednesdays. I said, Joey, no, Lauren's not coming today. It's Monday. You're going to go out with Lauren. We're not going anywhere today. We're going to stay home. He persisted with the shoes. He just kept on saying shoes, which he's never said before. And me, I'm washing dishes because everything else is going on. He grabs my arm, and he turns me toward him like, look at me, lady. I said, shoes, and there's something I want to tell you. So I look at him, and he's like, shoes, Dr. Johnson's. He says, keys, Whoa. let's go. You know? And then I was like, oh, my goodness, Joey, you do have an appointment today. Yes, we're going to Dr. Johnson's. Before that, I actually said to him, where do you want to go? And then that's when he said that. It was so exciting. That's cool. So he goes, and it, I wasn't even... I was just excited for his words as I was for his behavior. Oh, his yeah. His behavior was right on key from beginning to end. He acted totally different. Um, he, I call my husband really fast to tell him because I'm so excited. So Joey, in the process, he goes outside. He keeps on saying doctors to some kids that were outside, our neighbors. And the kids were like, what? What? Joey's talking? He goes, sits in the car. I'm like, I'll let him sit in the car because if I try to get him out, he'll fall on the floor. He'll have a fit. I don't want to ruin this good moment. So I'll let him sit in the car. He had his coat on his shoes. I stand by the front door so that he doesn't run off from the car. And I just stand there and watch him. He decides to come out. But when he approached me, he approached me like, he said, he said, shoes, doctors, like, what are you doing standing at the door? I'm in the car. Let's go to the doctors. Right. I have my shoes on. Let's go. So I say to him, I say, Joey, I call Bobby. Bobby means dad. I call Bobby, and I Bobby's coming. As soon as Bobby comes home to watch Johnny, Luke, what and Lauren, we will, Mama will take you straight to the doctors, and we're going to go. Before, he would have had a fit on the what? porch again. And he wouldn't have understood. He wouldn't have even let me talk to him or finish what I want to say to him. And he just walked right in. A very nice balloon you made. He just walked right in. an excellent in. balloon. Without a fit or anything, he took off his jacket, but he left his shoes on because he knew we were going to go. Right, that's Before excellent. Before he would take off his shoes, shoes and everywhere. socks right when we walk in the door. But he knew not to. He takes off his jacket. He keeps on going to the front door with anticipation. Like, is he here yet? Like any other child would do. Excellent. And um, so I, I sat around and I called people and I was so excited. And um, then when he did see the car lights, he, he jumped up, he said, let's go, and he grabbed his coat, and he started to smile. We, my husband was like, Joey, what happened? What did you say? He was. He started laughing, getting shy, giggling, but it was so amazing. That's so cool. From so, beginning to end, with his emotions, with his um, words, with his reaction, with everything, it was right on key every single time. So now, how long ago did he start coming here? He started coming here in September, a year ago. Okay, so then, and what was oh, he diagnosed with originally? Autism. Okay, and uh, what have we been doing? Then Nate treatments. And, and how was his uh, diet before he started Nate treatments? His dad, he ate everything, but he, he was um, obsessed with certain foods. Certain he foods. Was, he was obsessed with ranch. He ate a whole, he would try to eat a whole bottle with a loaf of bread. It was so disgusting. I couldn't buy ranch at all. Because even though we enjoy a small amount. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, he would just go to the extreme where I couldn't give it to any of the kids or yeah. myself or anything because he just, it was totally disgusting. Even the way you... Even the way he ate it, Look. it was like he was devouring yeah. it, and he could not get enough. Now I buy ranch, and he puts a little amount on his plate. Sometimes he'll go for a little bit more. Never. Did the same thing with ketchup. Ketchup was like that, too. Had to get rid of that for a long time. And I'd only buy it sometimes, and then I'd try to hide it. But this kid would find it. I would hide it when he wasn't home. And he would find it. Mm -hmm. And places like in the garage, on top of like in a cupboard, and he would find it. You know, no matter where I put it, wow. if I put it anywhere, he'd find it. So some months ago, he said some words, the first words in the office, right? Right. He did say words, but a few months ago, since 
a little bit after like the end of October, he started spelling. He, he spells words to us. He'll say the letters and we write it on a piece of paper. He brings us the paper and a pencil. He spelled Burger King Play Place. He'll spell movies that he loves. He'll spell anything he wants. He goes on the computer. He's a whiz on the computer. He'll just go on anything.com, you know, okay. whether it's JCPenney's because we went to JCPenney's or if it's Burger King Play Place or Tim Hortons or, you know, um, mm-hmm. any type of cartoon that he likes. He loves Barney. So anything okay. Barney, he'll go on eBay and he'll shop for really? Barney stuff. Wow. Yeah, but it doesn't yeah. get that far because obviously right. he doesn't have an account. But he loves to look at them. He'll spell all of the words to any of, any of Barney's movies. But the one he loves is Anything You Can Be. Mm-hmm. Barney's Anything You Can Be. That's cool. So now we know he knows how to read. Yes. He's so, 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 so much more patient. That's great. His quality of life has quadrupled. You know, is the actual, just the happiness and the joy, and the, you know, just his quality of life That's overall awesome. has improved. So he's changed a he's lot. He's so good with Lauren that I said he goes out with once a week. Um, he, he listens to her. He's, you know, she teaches him the concept of money and not grabbing things in a store. We try to focus on things like that so he knows how to act mm-hmm. in public. And he's really good. He does it. He understands. His focus, his eye contact, his... Being present in front of you and understanding what you're mm-hmm. saying to him. That's why I said not even the words. You know, I thought that when he speaks, if he ever speaks, God willing, it'll be such a beautiful day. But this, him understanding and his behavior. So he took everything in totally, context yeah, and understood totally and the behaviors, guard. everything. Yeah. That's it great. Was, it was wonderful. That's really exciting. It was exciting. beyond words. It was, I was so excited. Totally cool. Yes, very. Joey's cool. Are you cool, Joe? Yes, you are. Absolutely. Well, thanks for that share. That's really fantastic. Thank you for all you do. You bet. Wow, you that long. So <laughs>